school can be really hard. Especially if you don't know what's going on. I'll show you this trick. I think this is gonna be good. First, you need to draw or picture a clock. Include a subtraction sign and time for the math. It works for the entire clock. Ta-da! An easy way to do subtraction. What? This is amazing! You're welcome! If you think that trick was great, there's even cooler ones coming your way. Detention class? Yep. I'm in the right place. Ugh. Rules much? Might as well get to work. Are they kidding? Who do they think they are? This will take forever! Oh gosh. She looks like a wreck. She's probably been here forever. Oh my gosh! Look at her hand! I don't want that to happen to me. There's gotta be a way out of this. Wait a second. Who's that? Is that another student? He's turning around. Help me. He's old! Ah! A literal skeleton! This is a nightmare! I need to get started before I'm an old person or literal bones! Wait a second. An idea! First, I'll need some pens. Now for some tape. Might as well pick pretty tape. Wrap the tape around the pens in two spots. Let's give this a try. Look! It draws three lines at once! I'm a genius! Now I'm ready to get to work. Writing three sentences at once. This is working great! Two words done! Look how fast this is going! And done! Take that, detention! I am out of here! It's just not fair! <laughs> Sweater is so itchy. Oh, I'm stuck. My nail! Broken! This needs immediate repair. Emery board to the rescue. Mitochondria is. She's on to me! Hmm. As I was saying, mitochondria are important. Phew. Close one. I'll just prop this book up. Gonna file this broken nail back to perfection. Oh, I feel an ominous presence nearby. No nail work in class! All emery boards will be confiscated. <laughs> back to cell structure. Okay, she's not looking. Time for my spare. File, file, file. Hey! Under the shoe! In my sleeve! Darn it! Pretend my back itches! No! She has all my nail files! Except for my last lucky one! There has to be a way to keep this from her! I think I have an idea! I'll need my cutter for this to work. I'll just pop off the end. Now for my emery board. I'll use a hole puncher and punch a perfect hole like this. Time for the end of the cutter. It fits perfectly on the hole I punched. And it slides right in. Just have to replace the cap. And done! Now I can file my nails. And it slides right back in. Got my reinvented cutter right here. Now I can get back to fixing my nail. Hey! Look what I made! Ava? What are you doing? Oh! Better hide this. It's just my cutter, ma'am. Hmm. I guess you're right. It worked! Back to fixing my nails! 
I love school. Ugh. She's making so much noise. Oh, I'm headed for a high score! I'm trying to work here! That's it! Shh! Gross. Mind your business. Oh, teacher! She's on her phone in class! Ava, you know the rules. Put your phone away. Fine. That'll teach you! Ugh, she's the worst. Huh, what if I'm just sneaky? Just a quick check. Wait a moment! I've got an idea! I'll need a photocopy of my face. Oh, I'm so sneaky! Okay, have the picture and my phone. I'll just line the paper up with my phone. A perfect match! Now I'll need some glue. Just put the glue on the back of my phone case. Perfect! Next step, stick the picture to the phone. This is turning out great! Time to give this a try. Just gonna hold my phone here. Biology is such a robust topic! I can't believe it! She's on her phone again! Teacher! Teacher! She's doing it again! Hmm, is she now? Yes! She's looking at it right now! Well, I don't see anything. You need to stop interrupting class. Me? Interfere with learning? It's just not fair! It worked! I win! <laughs> Today's art class is so boring. We're drawing apples for crying out loud. <sighs> Let's see here. What's Jake doing with his pencil? <gasps> what kind of sketching sorcery is this? Whoa! I think he's measuring the size. I can do that too, you know. Hey! It totally worked! Then a little shading, and a few lines… There! Ooh, that's not pretty. How'd Jake's turn out? He's like a modern-day Cezanne! Mine looks like a fifth grader drew it. I can't possibly turn this in. I'll never be good at drawing. I forgot I was wearing these rubber bands! I'm brilliant! Take your pencil and make it perpendicular to another one. Then, taking a big rubber band, put it over the two writing utensils. Loop it around until it's nice and tight. Do it again with one on the other side. Check it out! Let's try this again, shall we? Can I see that real quick? Thank you! If you start tracing with one pencil, the one below will create the same thing. Pretty cool, huh? Whoa! Don't want to catch any flies, Jake. <laughs> Time to turn in your masterpieces. Mine's really good, Teach. What a little cheater! This party is gonna be so great! Whoa! Annie! You're looking fine! Oh, you definitely know how to dress for a party! Even your shoes are stylish! Oh wait though, you can't just go in. This party has a height check. We don't want to let in any little kids. Come on, we'll just check to see if we're tall enough. Oh yeah, you're definitely tall enough. Go on in, the party's waiting for you! Hey John! I'll talk to you later! Ugh, you scared me half to death! Wow, you can really sneak up on… someone… Novelty socks and sneakers? Hey, John! Get a look at her! Alright, come here so I can check your height. You're not even close! Sorry, you'll have to find somewhere else to party. Oh, can you please make an exception for me? Oh, now you've done it! If I said you can't come in, then you can't come in! Now get out of here! 
Well, fine then. I'll just leave. Maybe I didn't want to go to that stupid party anyway. I'm sure it's just full of more mean people just like him. Hey, wait. I, I think I have an idea. Yes, this will totally work. Just gonna take off my shoes right here. Then I'll carefully roll down my sock. Next, I'll take it off my foot. But I gotta keep rolling it up. There we go. Now my sock is nice and compact. Now I'll just put it in the heel of my shoe. And then I'll just slip my feet back into my shoes. Done! The socks in my shoes will make me taller. Hello! I'd like to go into the party, please. You again. I told you to leave. Check me again, please. Ugh, fine. It's not gonna make a difference, though. Look, see? You're the same height as be- Wait! You're taller! How is that even possible? I don't see any tricks or anything. Well, rules are rules. You can go inside. Yes! Party, here I come! How does she grow so quickly? Ah, uh, don't worry about it. The Mississippi River starts as a small flow in the beautiful state of Minnesota. Oh, I'm so late! Hopefully no one will notice. Ava? You're late! Take your seat. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> Back to how you can walk across the source of the Mississippi River. You look like you got in a fist fight with a rooster. Hi, Madison. Uh, hi, Ava. Poor girl. She needs some help. Ava? This is for you. <gasps> oh no! I look like a gorilla! Okay. Uh, fixing my hair will make it better. No. Still the same! Maybe no one will notice your face. Wait. I can help her. Ava! Look what I have. We have powders. We have sparkles. We have glitter. Even foundation! I'm your makeup fairy godmother. I just started with a pencil organizer. A piece of cardboard helps hide it in the drawer. Now it's time to pour in my favorite foundation. This drawer can hold a lot. It fills the space perfectly. Can't forget some red for the lips. Dividers for glitter and sparkles in the next drawers. Concealers in the top. Time for accessories! This can go here. Lip glosses in this space. Makeup brushes will fit too. Now to disguise it all. Colored pencils will hide all my makeup. Madison! You are a lifesaver! Time to start applying. Definitely need concealer. Foundation. Time to fix up my lips. Can't forget my eyes. Finishing touches! Oh, no more gorilla face for me! Thank you so much, Madison! Of course! Girls! Okay, got my clothes on. I'll just put my shoes right here. I love this workout hoodie. Oh, hi, Jennifer! Hi, Kate. Or whatever. Wait, what are those? No way! She has the same shoes as me! I was the only one who had these ones, too! There's gotta be something I can do. Oh yeah, that'll work. Just gotta sneak up. I got the shoes! Now I need to hide them. Up they go! Take that, copycat Kate! Hey, where are my shoes? They were just here! Jennifer! What did you do with my shoes? She's always so mean to me. Now what will I do? I can't go to gym barefoot! Hey, those balloons have given me a great idea! Come with me, balloon! Okay, what else? You're not better than me, Jen! Time to fix my shoe problem. 
I'll just set this on the ground and step on it. Now that all the air is squeezed out, I can tuck this part away. Good! Now for the other one! And done! Looks like I'm wearing flats! Okay, now I'm ready for gym! What is Kate wearing? Oh my gosh, what is on her feet? I mean, they're balloons! This is the funniest thing I've seen all day! Laugh all you want, I don't care. I'm here for fitness, not fashion. I don't know the answers to any of these. I can't see what anyone's writing. Kate obviously studied. This is so unfair. What? I forgot we can use calculators. Good thing I remembered to pack mine. Uh, what's my TV remote doing in here? I remember talking on the phone. Oh, I must have reached for the remote by accident. Just my luck. What's with the remote? I brought it by mistake. Don't you know the special trick? Need to find the square root of 144? First, take the first two numbers. Then add them to the number 2. That gives you 16. Don't forget the last digit. Subtract it from 16 and boom! Wow! Who needs a calculator, right? So if I want to find the square root of 81… First I add 8 and 2. That gives me 8. Then subtract it by 1. 9. <gasps> Thanks, Kate! Oh man, my mom's gonna kill me. I can't believe I failed. Young lady, we do not accept failures in this house. I'm so disappointed in you. <sighs> my stomach hurts. Hey, Jen. What happened? You know there are ways to fix that F, right? Let me show you. Let's just rearrange a few lines, shall we? Now you've got an A. You're a genius, Kate. Here, take my candy as a thank you. Aw, thanks, girl. Ah, the sweet taste of victory. Wanna know what else is sweet? With a little creativity, you can change just about any grade. Why settle for a D when you can have an A? That's more like it. Way to turn your skills into a lucrative business, Kate. They call me the grade bender. I'll see you after math class, Annie. Hi, hi Annie. Is it okay if I sit here? Oh no! My glasses! I can't see without them! Where are they? They have to be here somewhere! No! My glasses! I heard them crunch! Oh no! The lenses are shattered! What am I gonna do now? My poor glasses! Oh my god! What are you crying about? Oh, yeah, I see. That does kind of stink. Well, sometimes bad things happen. Yeah, but I feel like bad things always happen to me. Hey, I think I might be coming up with an idea. Kate, I'm gonna fix your problem. First things first, we're gonna need some plastic cutlery. And of course, a hair dryer set to hot. Use the hair dryer to heat the plastic knife. Now that the knife is heated, it's bendable. Look! I can just bend it right like this, and it won't break! And once the knife cools down, it will hold that shape. Next, we're gonna need a glue gun. Don't forget to do this a second time, too. Now we'll just glue the tips together. Just like this. When the glue dries, they'll be one piece. Look! We made a pair of glasses out of plastic knives! Actually, these look pretty cute if I say so myself. 
Here you go, Kate. They're not prescription. But what can it hurt to try? Oh, wow! I don't know how, but I feel better with these on. You know what? They look too cute for you. Listen up, Kate. Time to get up so we can get to work. First things first, that outfit has to go. Better! Pink is definitely your color. Wow, Annie! This is amazing! I feel like a different person! Time to do this! I've always wanted to do this dance with the popular girls! Wow, Kate! You know all the moves and the timing! That's because I've been practicing at home in front of my mirror! And finishing pose! We did it, Annie! <gasps> oh, sorry. I, I got a little carried away. Weirdo. Well, at least I got these cool glasses. <laughs> Well, kids, looks like today's test day. You'll have 20 minutes to finish. Cell anatomy? Jake! Wanna give me the answers? Ugh. Fine. I'll just look them up on my phone. No one will notice. Yes! What was that? I wasn't being discreet enough. Just thinking hard here, sir. Just a few quick glances and we're good to go! No! Think of something! Anything! Sorry, just dropped my pen there. Okay, fine. Boy, was that close or what? My phone! But I really need this thing. I'll just put my drawstrings in the case. That way, it can hang down for me to look at. Yep, in you go! Then put the phone back in the case. Kate! Are you looking at your phone? You know you're not allowed. Oh, I gotta be more careful with this thing. Hello, sweet answers! Whatever would I do without you? Spray bottles are great for a lot of things. Especially fake sneezes. Watch and learn, friends. Kate! Ever heard of Kleenex? You totally pranked Mrs. Appleby. But why pull this prank just once? Seriously? Again, Kate? This thing's worth its weight in gold, am I right? You can also pull this stunt on your parents. Gross! Sorry, just a little cold. So, it's germs you sneezed right into my coffee? That's it. You're not going into class today, missy. I'm texting your teacher. Yes, this is perfect! Oh, looks like Kate's staying home today. Well, it's settled. School's off today. Thanks, mom. I could really use the day to get better. The spray bottle trick scores again. Phew. This cheat sheet is ready to roll. Think the teacher will notice this in class? Perhaps a smaller version is better. Let's see Teach try and spot this bad boy. Hey, it's even too big for this tiny pocket! These long equations just can't fit on a cheat sheet. Come on, squeeze in there! Yikes. I can't memorize these equations all on my own. Stressed about tomorrow's exam, Jennifer? Here. Ha ha. Very funny. Whoa! Poor little guy. Wait a second! I have the best idea! Want the perfect cheat sheet? Write your equations on an inflated balloon. Once it completely deflates, put tape over the wet ink to copy it. Then stick it to your nail. It's so tiny! No one will ever suspect you're cheating now. I'm so gonna ace this test. Talk about a handy trick. Eek! 
Gotta make sure my makeup is on. Oh my gosh! Is that Kate? She looks like a corpse. I have never seen that skin tone on a living person before. Good morning, Annie. It's nice to see you. Uh, I, I said good morning. Is something wrong? Oh, uh, are you kidding me, Kate? Look at yourself. But be prepared. You've been warned. <gasps> oh, you're right. My skin looks so pale. Uh, have I always been so pale and I've just never noticed before? Yeah, unfortunately, you have. Oh, but you're in luck. Cause I can help you. You'll see. I'll make you look amazing. Just need my tools of the trade. I'll need this baby oil and this makeup. And then I'll need this stick too. First things first, I'll need to scrape up some of this makeup with the stick. It's time for the next step. Time for the baby oil to do its magic. We'll need to take the cover off the oil. And now we'll need the powder again. I'll use the stick to scoop some of the powder up. And then drop the powder into the oil. Look! The powder is dissolving in the oil! Okay, that's enough! I'll put the cap back on. Now it's time to shake the bottle. Look! The baby oil has changed color! Pretty! Kate, look what I have! A solution for your crisis! This will help you with your pale problem. Are you sure this will work? Trust me. Just put some on your skin and you'll look amazing. Well, I guess I could give it a try. I'll just start with a little bit. Not too much. Okay. And I guess the next step is I have to actually try it. I'll rub it on my cheeks. And then on my arm too. Can't forget that I have two arms. Wow! I can't believe it! It's working! I already look less pale! It's like I have a youthful glow about me! You were right, Annie! This helped a lot! Ah! You're glowing so much! Wow! My skin looks absolutely radiant! Hmm, time for some education! Oh my goodness! There seems to be a literal sun in my classroom! Add some extra lines there! <laughs> yes, that's hilarious! Oh, hi everyone! Oh my gosh, it's Kate! What are the chances? It's like we conjured the stink. <laughs> yeah, it does stink in here. <laughs> she doesn't get it! <laughs> Kate, have you seen this before? Here, this is for you. Don't be afraid to use it a lot. Oh, uh, thanks, I guess? Kate, spray it under your arms. Come on, let's get to class. Hey, what's that on the mirror? Kate, stinky? What? Do I smell bad? I don't smell anything. Better erase this. Okay, let's try my sleeve. It's not coming off. There has to be something. Maybe water will help. Ugh, stupid school sinks. They never work. It's no use. Ugh, now everyone will see this. Take this, stinky Kate on the mirror. I can't stand to even look at you. Hey, wait. It's coming off. Was it the deodorant? Let's try this again. It is the deodorant. The marker is coming right off. I can't even see a single smudge! Excellent. Crisis averted. But you know what? Maybe it's time for my own artwork. Just gonna take out my marker. I'll just put my name back up here. Done! Much better artwork, in my opinion. Rise and shine, Jennifer! Time to get ready for school. What time is it anyway? Six o'clock? No! It's already nine! Oh man, I've just covered my eyes for a sec! On test day! Quick, grab your stuff and run to the bus! We gotta get out of here! Why is it that when you're in a hurry, nothing seems to go the way it should? Just grab everything you can find and go! Do I need this lunchbox? On second thought… Good, the coast is clear. 
This little noodle is about to save the day. Oh, this backpack is so heavy. Okay, dad. Can you take me to school now? Sure, hun. Keep that noodle clenched in your teeth as your parent helps you put your backpack on. And at just the right moment, bite down on that thing as hard as you can. Jennifer, was that your back? It's pretty freaky, but it works like a charm every time. Almost too well. What's your emergency? Oh no, he's calling 911! Don't worry, we'll have you fixed up in no time. Hey, it still beats having to take that math test, right? This teacher may be lively, but boy, is this class boring! Ugh. Almost dozed off there. Maybe a little sugar rush will wake me up. I'll just have some. Oh! Is that my hair? Or is it growing its own? G get back in there! Now what do I do? That's it! My notebook! Did you know this can be a candy holder? Start by cutting the cover with a blade. And follow along the ruler just like this. Now get rid of the square you just cut. Now take a plastic pocket and tape it behind the open cover. Grab your candy and slide it into the pocket. The more colorful, the better. Start at the top and work your way down. Yeah, just like that. It may look like candy now, but when you flip the book closed, it looks like a regular book cover. See? It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Not to mention the tastiest. Mmm. And that, my friends, is the human body. She's done? Oh! Oh, stop. I'm blushing.